Hi, I'm Cindy Gay. And have you ever wondered what's involved in any of my online courses or the membership? All you got to do is ask. Rhoda asked recently about the pencil pouch purse course. And that's how to take a simple little pencil pouch like this and how to turn it into something like this. This is my toolkit. This is what sits at my rug hooking station and it holds my hooks, my scissors, a lipstick, a little change purse, all the stuff that I'm thinking I'm gonna need when I'm rug hooking. So it's all right here. What I love about this particular pencil pouch is how it expands and how it's got a pocket on the back where I can put my hotel um, key. I can even hold it up to the door to scan it without even taking it out. I use this particular pocket for cash and credit cards and then the big pocket can be reserved for my phone, a lipstick, um, a water bottle, anything that I need to carry with me. And this is great for travel. It's great for rug camps, but it's great as an everyday carry too. Keeps that weight off your shoulder because it's only so big. If you don't want to leave it expanded, you can zip it up and it makes a very flat purse. So however you want to use it, it's there. Do you want to make one? Join the pencil pouch purse course and I'll show you how. Here's my response. You want to know what's involved in the course and it's easier to show you than it is to tell you. So let's head on over to howtorughook.com. I'm going to click on the dashboard, which is your key to everywhere. It also includes a way for you to log in if you're not logged in yet. When you are logged in, you're gonna see a welcome instead. I'm gonna pop down here to the pencil pouch course. And this is the main page for the pencil pouch. I do have an objective, which is like your to-do list. And you can click these on and off. Notice that when you click them, it clicks into the menu. So you always know which lessons you have complete. This tells you to watch both videos. There are two videos on this page and I recommend watching them because they give you a good overview of the process. Then you can simply walk your way through. I've got um, suggested sources on where to get your pencil pouch because for a while there, they were a little tricky. And they disappeared actually for a while. And luckily a source popped back up and I've jumped on those and I have a bunch of them here in the studio, but right now you can get them much cheaper on Amazon. But in case that does not hold up all the time, I will have some here that you'll be able to buy. You have to decide if you want a tall or a short pattern. And I talk about what that means. Here is all the pencil pouch patterns. The tall ones basically are the ones that go up and cover the three ring holes. And then the short ones are ones that either allow you to expose the holes or allow you to cover it with a piece of wool. It's really just a design decision. Talk about how to trace the outline, how to transfer the pattern, how to sew on the sashing if you're using one. Depends on if you're using how you're covering the top. I've got tips for hooking it check it for holidays. And that is simply a matter of going in and looking for breaks in your work. And I've actually got two videos on here because I'm going through and whenever I make one, I'll re-record the video if I think I need a stronger lesson. Um, instructions on how to steam it, how to cut off the edges, prepare the edge for whipping, how to whip it, how to attach the pencil pouch, how to sew down the sashing, how to do the handle um, attachment. And I've got options for a leather handle like this and for a wool handle, in case you don't want to go to the hassle of trying to find a leather handle. Um, then I have special instructions for the 3D pattern. I don't remember exactly what's on there. Yeah, I'm still working on editing these. These are in draft mode and you can tell by up here. But this is what the pattern looks like. 
and then I have instructions on how to do each and every one of the individual elements on that particular pattern. I'll be posting an update to these instructions soon, so watch for that draft little notice to go away and then you'll know that you've got updated versions. And again, every lesson has the ability for you to check the box to mark it as complete. I've left this one unchecked, which tells me that I still need to do a little work on this lesson. So that's how I handle the check marks. Um, and then these need a little bit of work before I consider them complete. But that is what is included in the pencil pouch with the newest feature being the instructions for the 3D um, purse. 